Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Doing a quick video today showing you how to use split screen on Windows 10. Um, and this allows you to open multiple windows at the same time and have them all floating on the screen. And um, in the example I want to show here, let's say you're doing research. Right now I'm researching the wall of China and um, I have to keep tabbing over to look at my you know fact sheet where I'm typing in the facts and I'm also at the same time trying to watch Netflix and so imagine having Netflix in the background and I keep switching back and forth to look at this there's an easier way thank you to Windows 10 so to do this um, first I want to take this window and I want to move it to the left side of the screen so you're going to take your mouse and at the very top of the screen right here notice not on a tab but just in this blank area where there's nothing, I'm going to click with the left button and I'm going to hold down on it, keep your finger on the button and drag it all the way to the left side of the screen. Okay? And if you notice, if you drag it to the left, it'll automatically, when you say that you let it go, it'll hold it all the way to the left side of the screen. Okay? Now here you have two options. I can keep that on the left and I can have something else equally on the right side or I can just have it on the left. So let me show you this first example. I'm just going to click. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to click one of the options over here. I'm just going to click just somewhere on this window on the left and watch this. It'll keep that in on the left and it'll keep whatever's in the background at full screen. So this isn't ideal, right? It would be a lot easier to have this paper on the right side and now I have one on the left and one on the right. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move the mouse to the top of the screen. I'm going to click. Keep my finger on it again, left click. I'm going to drag it all the way to the right side of the screen. You're going to move the mouse until you get to the edge of the screen, and then it'll do that. It'll totally align. So let it go. And now I have a perfect left and right. Um, so I can research my facts here and come over here and I can type them as they come up. But because of Windows 10, I'm no longer limited to only having two windows on the screen. You can actually have up to four on one screen and so watch this I'm going to come down I have another window here and this one I have uh, Netflix so I'm going to click on this and now this is floating so I can actually take this window right here I'm going to click at the top once again hold down on it and I'm going to drag it this time to the bottom right corner right here and watch this it's going to perfectly align it to the bottom right of the screen check this out so now that's a line, and I can pick which window do I want at the top. So I'm going to I'm going to pick this one, which are my notes, and now I can actually watch Malcolm in the Middle. First secret, first anonymous secret, anonymous while I'm still customer. Researching over here, it's Bobby Markovich. I'm typing my notes over here. So this is just a really cool thing. Um, Windows 10 is new and not everyone knows what they can do with this. So I'm trying to make these little videos to teach people what else is possible. And again, I can find a fourth window just to give an example. And I can take this and drag it all the way down to the bottom here. And now I can have four screens, one, two, three, four, literally floating on the screen. Now, I don't know how ideal this situation is. I'd probably close this one and I can bring my mouse right to the edge right here until I see the arrow click left click and drag it all the way down but this way you really utilize your whole screen and now you can you know snap things accordingly um, and really again just maximize all the real estate that you have so I hope you guys found this helpful make sure you like favorite and share 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 if it was helpful send this to somebody who is new to Windows 10 and is trying to figure this thing out and hopefully it'll help them out too all right thanks for watching take care